offices and residential definitely uh, the combination. I mean, residential would be probably the right one on the long run. Okay. There are many less competitors probably, and you want to have a big exposure. Maybe you can have a good portfolio of uh, loans. I don't know. I mean, I would say residential has been has suffered a lot, and there's a good product there, so definitely you could create a good portfolio. Okay, residential or sub subset? Very good. Alfonso. Yes, I agree. Residential is a good opportunity, if anything, because there is only one player who has a lot of residential under management, which means for the appetite of other international investors in the next three, five years, if you manage to put together a thousand or two thousand apartments, you're almost unique as a product in the market. So residential, select a residential, I think is a great idea. Um, small amounts of um, um, seashore residential, secondary house in on the beach areas. I know there is a the perception which is true that is massively overbuilt but there are pockets which are great quality which have been washed away with the tidal wave of real estate residential in Spain is wrong and you know it's not all of it wrong so the one that is not wrong is very cheap to buy today um, I think there is also some retail probably medium size to large size which still can do fantastically well um, the only difficulty with my strategy of course being a lawyer I'm very conservative is None of these products I would buy 100 million each. I would probably buy smaller amounts of that, which means that getting to 500 million would be very difficult for me. Um, but I think that a mixed strategy like that, and, uh, and, uh, and the most difficult for me would be offices, because I think everybody thinks they can buy and professionally manage and transform offices. They think they can, uh, and I think the competition there is too fierce. You, you, you end up buying, buying too expensive too often. Well, actually, I'm a, I'm a debt person, so I'm not an equity uh, investor. So, in any case, if I have 500 million uh, to put it at work, um, you, you know, granting debt, granting loans, I would do this in a totally different way um, after having uh, learned five years, you know, from um, seeing everything. So, I would grant it for loans, for over offices, nicely located, uh, low loan to value, high margin, and I would be very happy. Okay, very good. Um, well, I think I might uh, try and find some company I can buy, which is gives me the local platform. Uh, I'd say I'd hold back a hundred million so that that way I could seed a blind pool Sothemi and raise another five hundred from North American investors that are okay with an externally managed vehicle, and then I'd have a billion. Actually, I wouldn't because I would have spent some money on the platform, but then I'd certainly have plenty of money to invest. And with that platform, I would then be able to maybe start to attack the whole residential thing because that's really where the cleanup has to be focused. And even though we've been talking about Spain for 45 minutes, none of us really have the answer to the residential problem, the overhang and things. And it's, that's where, if you, can, if you can get an operating system that works for you and you get good distribution of the, of the end product, you can buy deeply discounted assets. And I think you can enjoy really very good opportunistic returns. But you can't do that flying in and flying out. You need a, a, a team on the ground and weird experience. So I think I would, I would go that route.